time for the model to go back to 3D Max to construct the costume for, for her. So what I've done is I've decimated the uh, original model. The best way to decimate it is, I found, is default here is 20% uh, of, um, of the resolution, the original resolution. What you do is take that to 20%, decimate it, 10% decimated, 5% decimated, 2 and then we're down to 1% of the uh, original um, resolution and if I turn off the polyframe you can see that we've still got loads and loads of detail. We've got more than enough detail to build um, a costume on top of this uh, model. So using GoZ I'll make sure this is visible in the subtool uh, palette and what I've done is I just copied the uh, original model. That's a duplicate and it's called Skin Z Sphere 1. That's the one I've decimated, so that'll be the one I'll send to 3D Max. Okay, uh, go Z. Back to Max. So we want to draw um, a costume on, on top of the model and then export that costume to, uh, to ZBrush and it should come in at exactly the right size and exactly the right position. So, go to, I'm going to unfreeze all, unfreeze all, a model is selected, uh, I'm going to freeform, be interesting to see what improvements have, have happened here. Oh yes, uh, I have to go into a sub-level of my object before I can open the freeform tab. Folly draw. Rip it away from its uh, from its docking station. Draw on the surface, and the surface is my object, the model. And I just need to start off. I just need a couple of um, vertexes. One, two, three, four, and shift. All right. uh, let's see. Move them around. Okay, and they're moving over the surface of the model, which is pretty good. All right. What I want is I want. Um, Edge, uh, edges to be visible for objects that are selected. So I go to my configuration, configure viewports, display se selected with edged faces. Okay, put on a symmetry modifier. And symmetry mirror. I'm going to put in the middle of the viewport. Okay, going in and out of PolyDraw for navigation deselects the uh, uh, deselects the algorithm. So what you have to do is to uh, to navigate. After you finish navigating. Click your right mouse button. If you've got a Wacom tablet with a with a, a right mouse option, all the better. Okay. So I want to move this. To put in some claws here. Right click, drag, shift will give me, shift, uh, drag will give me a, um, will give me an option to um, drag edges from the selected edge, drag edges from the active edge. And it looks like viewport performance has improved. Okay, so I'm going to step build again here for one, two, three, four, shift click and um, hotkey for moving 
vertex is all uh, over the edge once you when you've got um, build or um, drag edge activated is uh, shift control alt which is handy and it's great that it's working so well in this new version of Max save a lot of time okay I uh, just sped this part up because all I'm really doing is adding geometry and moving it around I put the costume part on top of the model three millimeters just so the polygons would be easier for you to see and the model itself the model of the costume will be subdivided so it'll shrink a little three millimeters won't um, make that much difference So I've got two halves here, and I want to play around with them a little. 
I'm going to center the the main edge select an edge okay looks like I've got a clean selection that X flatten it along the X axis set it in the center of the viewport and now if I click on symmetry it should be should look good I'm going to activate all polygons okay really the best way to make a um, a costume is to have a back side of the costume you can always at a later stage optimize your uh, your model so that there's no back sides but in in this situation um, Sebrush likes a, a closed mesh and that's what I'm going to do here for one half so uh, I'm going to get rid of um, symmetry because I want to use another delete I want to use an, another modifier called shell and you can see straight away that shell gives me a build up the build up I want um, it gives a, uh, a thickness to the polygons which we drew on our template it's looking pretty good if I collapse the shell onto the, uh, to the stack collapse 2 it'll make a mesh I don't want a mesh, I want an editable poly. So right click in the viewport, convert to editable poly. Okay, now I've got edge loops, and it would be really great to be able to fill those in here. Let's see, fill hole. Um, I could do it with polys. Let's see what happens if I do it with polys. Because I want to open that, uh, I want to open that part of the model select all right now I want to fill in the hole oh, let's see if we can do that and that's exactly what I want super step loop I won't forget that one oh yeah this one in the middle I don't want to delete those so select alt click I also want these to be flat so I'm going to flatten them in the x axis because they're getting they're a little helical you can see that by increasing the um, increasing the skin size of the model has done that along the normals so in the middle at the back here it's not uh, symmetrical, we don't have a split line, it's grown over the edge so I'm going to click on make planar and then the move tool W enter 0 in my x-axis click on the selection tool